Hello and welcome to my garage. Tonight we're going to be looking at crown ethers. In this beaker, I have about 40 milliliters of benzene, to which I'm going to add a small amount of potassium permanganate. Benzene is an organic solvent, it's nonpolar, and potassium permanganate is an ionic salt. As you can see, potassium permanganate does not dissolve in benzene. Now I'm going to prepare some dibenzo 18 crown 6 ether, which is a type of crown ethers. Crown ethers are particularly good at dissolving metal cations, particularly lithium, sodium, and potassium. The 18 crown 6 depicts what kind of size uh, the actual ring, the ether ring is. In this case, Crown 6 means it has 6 oxygens. The size is particularly good at complexing um, cations such as potassium. Here's the ether. Add it in. Now the complex nation takes a while to dissolve into the benzene, so using the magic of video editing, I'm going to speed up about five minutes of straining. As you can see, the purple color, color of potassium permanganate is going into the benzene. Almost done. And there we have it right there, purple benzene. Now, Dibenzo 18 crown 6 ether can also work as a phase transfer catalyst that is able to uh, bring a salt between two different phases, in this case water and benzene. I have here a tube full of water and now I'm adding some benzene to it. As you can see, there are two distinct phases right here, a top organic phase and a bottom aqueous phase. To this, I'm going to add a small amount of potassium permanganate. This entire reaction was sped up. Quick solution, and you can clearly see now the two distinct layers. Now, I'll add the 18 crown 6 ether on the to the benzene layer and give it a quick stir. Now the two layers have the purple color of potassium permanganate. Now the way that these crown ethers actually dissolve the potassium permanganate is really simple. So right here we have our crown ether, 18 crown 6, the two benzyl groups right there, and we have these negatively charged oxygens on the ether. Now crown ethers are really good at dissolving cations like sodium, potassium, lithium. Uh, they're able to do this because of this negatively charged um, oxygen right here, it has a partial negative charge. And the cation has a partial positive charge. In the case of potassium permanganate, potassium permanganate is KMN. Oh, 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 and this has a partial negative right there. And when the potassium ion gets binded to the crown ether, it drags this permanganate with it. This is what makes the solution purple. This permanganate ion. So again, recapping, crown ether is able to act as phase transfer catalysts. They able to bring insoluble salts into an organic phase. And they do this by binding with positively charged cations. 18 crown 6 also is able to bind with a hydronium ion 
or H3 plus. Um, so that's why you cannot have 18 crown 6 or any crown ether in an acidic medium on fear of it binding like this. Okay, that's all I got. Bye.